one really important battle that's related to the battle between high art and low art in American culture is the battle between the vulgar and the genteel. So comics that was vulgar came from vaudeville, so that uh, it was about immigrants making fun of them, op uh, opera's happy hooligan and the yellow kid, the uh, mocking the Irish, mocking the blacks in vaudeville style. But uh, some people found the Sunday comics really kind of, oh, it's vulgar, it's only for the immigrant unwashed masses, we don't want it in our newspaper. But because of commerce, they had to have it in their paper. So what they did was they wanted a more upscale comic, something for the bourgeois classes. It's not a bad thing, even though when I say it I can hear the word bourgeois is like, oh, that's no good. But basically what it meant was a tug of war between uh, different sensibilities. So it led to, for example, the Chicago Tribune saying, we don't want these stupid Katzenjammer kids who are little anarchists. We want something more beautiful. How about the great German artist who was American, Lionel Feininger, doing the Kinder Kids? And this was a beautiful comic, thoroughly architected, understanding that a comic is an architected page. When it's a story, it's a story like stories of a building in English, les étages d'un immeuble. Uh, so for this, we had this beautiful painterly tradition that comes from La Sieto Bohr, Le Rear, Fliegendblatter, applied to the comics for a very upscale German audience. Similarly, in the New York Herald, uh, Windsor McKay is hired to make something not like the yellow kid, this slum kid. Let's have a bourgeois kid who lives in the nicer part of town and he can go on his bed and have his dreams and wander into uh, downtown but on a bed that's made with beautiful Jugendstil curves for the legs. Uh, this is that tug of war between the vulgar and the genteel that leads to actually the richness of American culture. What's really amazing in the early days of comics is, as in the early days of every medium, the rules aren't set. So somebody can reinvent comics because it's up to them to decide what a comic is. Now all bets are off because we're at the beginning of something new again. But at that time, everything was new.